Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Bing Chat to create a logo. Um, and you can use it to create any kind of image and it's really cool. But it's not just for logos, it's, it's for anything. It's for font, it's for you know logos or, or anything along those lines. So let's get started. Alright, first what we want to do is we're going to go to bing.com forward slash chat. Uh, this will pull up the chat window. If you in Bing, you can also go up here and click on the chat uh, menu item right here, and this will bring you here. Conversation style is kind of important, I think, here uh, for creating art and creative. I think we I usually use the more creative option right here. If I'm going to like ask it to help me write code or give me the answers to technical questions or something I want precise answers on, I would use a precise. I haven't really explored that much with balance, but for this purpose of creating a logo, we're going to do more creative. Um, and so the idea we're going to use was Frosty Film. So I want to create a logo um, to use in my, in, you know, like the background that you saw. I just created it before I started this background. I mean, I'm started this video. So let's go into how we did that. So you basically want to have a conversation with it and keep in mind, it's not, it's generative AI. It's not like trying to replace a human. It's not like talking to a human. It takes the words and converts them to tokens. And those tokens are used to associate with other, with data that it's trained on or grounded with. So it's really important to be precise. You don't want to be overly worded um, in what you say or, or type in here. You want to give it specific details and use descriptive words that describe exactly what you want. And you don't want to, you know, communicate with it like a really a human. You don't want to joke or, or, or do things like that. However, on the, the caveats are if it does something you like, I find it uh, a little bit helpful to, to reinforce and say thank you. That's that really helps or, or things like that. Or if it if it does a really bad job and it's really off way out there um, and sometimes it repeats itself on things that you tell it not to do you kind of start getting a little bit stern with it and it, sometimes it does and sometimes you just have to click on the button right here to start a new topic and start over if you get too far off so let's get started uh, we so we're gonna tell it what we're doing and we're gonna ask it to create a, um, a logo for us and you can see the typing uh, as I type it and as you'll notice I'll probably back up and change my mind on words because you know you type what comes into mind but as you're thinking it and reading it out you want to make sure that you're not it's more direct also um, when you're doing this there's two rules of thought one being you can just type something really really long and really really descriptive however I find sometimes that it's better to have short conversations meaning start the conversation and give a good idea of what you're starting with and then let it respond and then go off of that because if you put too many words it can associate it with a lot of different things and it, it can have you can run into problems to get the conversation on track so here we go We're going to take this out because, um, again, if you do too much, it can get you way off track. So we want to get it kind of where we wanted to um, start. And we want something shiny and cartoonish, uh, not like real or any kind of other thing. So so let's see what we got right here. <clears throat> and so you see one of these and you kind of like, kind of pick up from there. So I like the top left and I think I like the bottom right. So you let it know. Now I've had some issues with this because I have told it I like, you know, 
switch ones and ask it to to uh, you know give me some more ideas or tweak it a little bit and it sometimes it kind of works and sometimes it goes off the rails so that's that's the frustrating part of this but anyway that's a good start um, and I'm also going to ask it to add like a add the name of my channel to the logo I will tell you this it seems to have problems with text and words uh, integrating them into the image uh, I did the video or the when I did it before this video it did a really good job and then but since sometimes it just does it can't spell the simplest words and it just makes up stuff as it goes so anyway so we're gonna tell it we like the top left and the bottom right and we're gonna try to see if we can add our uh, name to it and again here we're gonna tell it that we like what we like and and reinforce um, what it did well The other thing while we're waiting here of why I use the reinforcement is because if you get too aggressive, it can end the conversation or um, it's built in mechanism to try to keep conversations from getting um, off the rails. Uh, it can cause, you know, can cause issues. So here you have it. Um, so here shows you a couple of things that I was talking about. If you go here and look at the bottom right, you see <laughs> it left out the S, which is a really, I mean, this is a really cool design right here and I like all of these. And um, so I'm going to save these and I may come back and ask it, tell it that I like this one. Uh, but however, and ask it if it can fix the spelling, but chances are it's not going to reproduce that one and get the, uh, get the, the spelling right. And then right here you can see on this, I have no idea what all this is down here. I think this one's probably my favorite. All of them I really like. I think that's probably my favorite one here, but I really like this one as well. So um, those are all some cool little uh, logos. Now you can also go right here and click uh, click this. Um, you should be able to save these. And we want to save those to our So Frosty Films. I'm going to save those. And those will save into a collection. So they're available. And it's important to do this because that sometimes you're in the middle of this conversation and Bing will just end it or I've had a screen just say it lost connection or it just starts over. And if you do that, then you're going to lose all these. So that's another frustrating part about it. But so if you like any of them, just go ahead and save it uh, and do that. And then you can also go into do some editing. So let's go. Uh, we'll take that one right there and you can go into the editing and here you can share, you can save, you can actually download. Um, and you know we can do it or you can go into customize and customize will go in here I, I think this is a part of Microsoft Office 365 clip champ I'm not 100% sure but it, the way it's got the brain kit and everything over there so you can go in here and, and do these um, I don't know you may be able to remove like this down here I don't know maybe it's cool uh, I, I don't know why it created that one but that's kind of one of my my favorites right there so I'm probably going to definitely download this one so there you have it Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I would love to hear your ideas and how you're making AI work for you. And because I'm just learning myself when it comes to graphics because I am really horrible at doing any kind of thing related to graphics. And this is like a blessing for me because um, it's so cool to be able to not have to spend waste a lot of time and be able to create something that's kind of cool and professional looking uh, in just a few minutes. I hope this helps. Again, leave some comments below on uh, what you're doing and how you're using AI and have a great day.